All right, time to take a look at the Arc Captain Auto Darkening Welding Helmet. So it actually comes with an extra protective window. So we got one already installed, and we got another one to back it up. And it comes with a full color instruction manual. And here is the helmet. Oh, that is nice. So we have a super clean window right there, and we also have the solar charger at the top. On the right side, we have a sensitivity dial. We also have grind and weld. Then on the left side of the helmet, we've got the actual shade settings. So it can go anywhere between DIN 9 and 13. So if we want this thing to be darker, we turn it up to 13. And if we can't see the weld that well, then we can turn that down. So it really depends on you, what your preference is. But you want to get this about as high as you can get it, where you can also still see what you're working on. Inside the helmet, we got a nice cushion front strap. We also got plenty of adjustability in here. So if we need to loosen this up, we just open that dial and then we can, of course, ratchet that down to our head. And it comes fairly loose, so we can easily just rock that thing down if we need to. But if we want to tighten it down, we can just tighten down these two knobs right here. And then it becomes a little bit more stiff. Now, it's also good because if we ever want to change out this strap, like maybe we want to put on a different strap, we can just loosen this up. And these will just come all the way out. We can take this strap off and put in another strap. On the top, we have another adjustment. So if this isn't quite at eye level, we can adjust that. And we have another adjustment right here. So these little slots, we can use that to adjust the angle that it's going to stop at. So right now, it's about in the middle. If I pull this back, that's where it stops. If I bring it forward a little bit, there we go. Now, it comes down a little bit further. So if you want to adjust that angle for your helmet so it comes closer down to your chest, you can use that. And if you want it all the way up, you can see it stops a little bit higher up. So it really depends on how you want that set up, but plenty of adjustability on this. And then inside we've got a lens and we also have another piece of protective film on that. And then at the top, we can see this little switch. This is the delay time. So we got short, medium, and long. Now this is not the light to dark. This is dark to light. Now that's important because this needs to be able to essentially turn on like that. It's advertised as 1 25,000th of a second to go from light to dark. The delay time is gonna be if you want it to stay dark, even after you're done welding. So if you're welding and it's like skipping or something like that, if you're, it's like popping at all, and you can just have it stay dark. That way it's not blinding you when it's constantly transitioning from light to dark, light to dark, light to dark. So here's what it looks like with short, all right? Now let's switch it to long, all right? So a small adjustment, but it can make a big difference. So one thing I do really like to see right here is that there are these clips right here. So that is for attaching a cheater lens. So what that means is if you want to add some magnification to this so you can see easier, you can actually do that with this helmet. There we go. I had that on a setting of about 11. Super easy to see through, really easy to see what I'm doing. Very comfortable. It's a very nice helmet.